Hi everyone, George Shippey, Army Bass Angler Pro Staff. Thanks for tuning in today to Force on Force on the World Fishing Network. We're here on Lake Bob Sandlin in Mount Pleasant, Texas, and today we're doing our memorial tournament where we honor those that were members of our organization that have gone before us. But we also honor those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice in defense of our great nation. One thing about us is we're not professional fishermen at one time or currently are professional soldiers, sailors, airmen and marines who all share a love of the water. You'll watch Rory Lane and Chuck Guthrie go head to head and then maybe you'll get to see some good fish weighed in this afternoon. Let's get out on the water. Enjoy. Huh? Force on Force features the largest and strongest outdoor military organization in the country. It is with great pride that we bring you Force on Force Season 12. In today's episode of Force on Force, we take a break from the intense competition to pay tribute to those we've lost. We join Chuck Guthrie and Rory Lane at the seventh annual Army Bass Anglers Memorial Tournament as they fish together and reflect on the fallen members and what this tournament is about. We're fixing to do the seventh annual Memorial Tournament for Army Bass Anglers. We're having our uh, seventh, seventh annual memorial tournament for the Army Bass Anglers, and uh, neither one of us have been on this lake before, so we're gonna go just have fish. fun. Yeah, let's go. through that sucker, I guess. Huh? I better troll through there. All righty, let's get some rods out of this thing. Here you go. Remember, mine are wide open. Yeah, I know, I'm fixing them. I check with <laughs> everybody I fish with. It's been a while since we fished together. It's been a while since we fished, period. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, right at the boot. Fish number one. Come here, you. Look at his mouth. He's got all that black stuff in there. Yeah, I was uh, throwing a spare bait, just slow rolling it, and I uh, was rolling it in. As I started to pull up to go make another cast, it grabbed it right at the edge of the boat. So. He was a little further off the bank, so maybe they're not quite as shallow as I thought they'd be. There he is. Good? Oh, yeah. I guess we should have got the net out, right? Yeah. Let me back this way. Got him? Yep. Nether keeper. He That's what choked I'm that sucker. Yeah, he did. I get it. I need to check that live one anyway. Okay. Make sure we got enough water in there. That's happy, you know. Come out here, think about our friends and everything that passed away through the years and all that, and fishing and catching fish for them. That's it. Mm -hmm. Can't get. It can't get no better. Force on Force is brought to you by Lose, Impact Lures, Power Pole, Dakota Lithium Batteries, Sea Clear Power, Yugo, 515 Scenic Cabins, and Butcher's Barbecue. Just covering water. That's all we can do right now until we figure something out. 
And we figured out right now that covering water is the thing to do so far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, with a moving bait. We've been doing this a long time. Yeah. And come a long ways. Yeah, hauled everything around in our trucks and boats. Ooh, dude, them with some rough days. We didn't have a trailer. Everything was in tubs in the back of pickup trucks. We uh, shared hotel rooms with four or five guys. These guys so, nowadays don't believe what, I know. what we went through and how we done it. I did uh, 23 years in the Army. I was an MP my whole career. I uh, was pretty much deployed to every major theater in the world that we had from 83 till I retired in 06. A couple, two or three times in Iraq and a couple times in Afghanistan. Or actually only once in Afghanistan. Bosnia, Somalia, Croatia, Haiti, and uh, we spent a lot of time deployed because they could send the MPs everywhere and call it a police action, not an act of war. So they sent us worldwide. See that bait coming in right there? <laughs> Little three XDs just pounding. The reason I joined the Army, was it's a funny deal because I was working for the county road department at the time, just got out of high school. One of my buddies come back home for hometown recruiter duty. He come over and goes, I have to get somebody in, you know, to help me out and stuff. And I said, I'll go over there, but I ain't joining. 21 years later, I retired. <laughs> uh -huh. And enjoyed every minute of it. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better job Traveling, seeing people, different cultures, food, everything, hunting, fishing. And uh, I was an engineer, but then uh, I got stationed at Fort Hood. Well, I was a co construction engineer. We built everything, all the roads and all that stuff, and the landing strips. And then uh, I turned around and went combat engineer. So I blew up everything I built. <laughs> and then I got the Fort Hood, and they had the horse. Uh, detachment there. And I said, really? Who's got horses? And you can actually go ride horses, train horses for a living and everything. So I went and tried out. And uh, I made the team. And I stayed there for quite a while. And they sent me to Farrier College. I've been to uh, vet tech training. And you got to mess with horses all over the place. We did all kinds of parades and everything else, and we did a lot of funerals also, too, uh, for fallen soldiers. The funeral on the horses, we'd, we'd uh, saddle a horse up, we take the boots and turn them around backwards for a fallen soldier and everything, and then we'd walk down with the, uh, in the parade and everything, and everybody would, you know, stand up and looks at it. And it's a, it's a sad deal, especially for the families, you know, when they do the funerals that way. Basically, we're doing the same thing, we're doing, but I'm doing it through fishing now, you know. Memorial on all our fallen brothers and sisters. And so, I love it. I'm gonna keep doing it until I die. Force on Force is brought to you by Skeeter Boats, Strike King, Frog Togs, Liquid Mayhem, Jim and I Jerseys, Par 3 Wraps, Rooks Texas Hills Insurance, and Fishing with Legends. We only got two fish and we're still fixing to go out and go grocery shopping looking for some and see if we can find some more. We got to find three more. Right now I'm looking for bait. Balls of bait. Um, I've seen fish, but I don't see any bait around them. Yeah. 
There we go. Good choice. <laughs> He's gonna keep. Yeah. Number three. Love you. Bring your mama with you. Five fish limit today. Right now we have uh, three fish for about six pounds, <laughs> six and a half. And I'm guessing we're gonna need about 15 or 16 to where the fish are biting today. This memorial tournament, uh, what it means to me is that I've known almost all of them that's passed away and they were real close, you know, and it hurts to miss you, your brothers, you know, and sisters and stuff. And you think back of all the times what we've done with them and what they've done, how much fun we had and all the joking we did around and kidding with each other. It don't matter if we're Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, Coast Guard, you know, it just, we, we take care of each other. Found Army Bass Anglers, I found my family again. And they saved me from a lot of things. And you know, you just can't appreciate what this organization does. I mean, you'll find friends in here that you you forgot about and they join and they go, oh, I ain't seen or heard from you, you know, in 20 years, you know. And we're always growing, so we're gonna find more brothers and sisters and everything. So that's the reason I'm here. We were, we're looking, well, we need to catch a couple of good fish, a couple of three or four pounders to, uh, be any kind of good today, so that's what we're going to look for. Little one. You got another one? Yeah, a little one. Real little. <laughs> it's a fish, though. It is a fish. No, this is just a pho. That's bait. There, that one's working. I don't know what it was. It needed to go. He's a get, pretty little fish. Mm -hmm. Go get big, girlfriend. That's the other thing. Oh, dude. You got him? Yeah, he hit it on the way down. That's a good fish. That might be a keeper. Either that or it's a catfish and bit it on the bottom. Might be a catfish because he ain't come up yet. Yep. Oh, no. He's a, is it? Yep. I tell by the way, he's spinning. Mm -hmm and all the slime on my line. <laughs> Look at that nasty it thing. It's not all over your line. There he is. Another catfish. Is it? Nope, it's nope. a bass. Quit messing around and get him in the boat. He might keep. <laughs> get him done here. We got him fired up now. Number four. Look at there. Our intention is to uh, fully let that fish go. We'll replace him with a bigger one. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you know what? <laughs> Look at this. You didn't lose a cork, did you? We might have to let him go, though. He's being pretty good. Mm -hmm. You're 14. Yeah. You turn them oxygenators on. Nope. Yep. This is the Army Bash Angler 7th Memorial Tournament. We'll be back right after this break. Force on Force is brought to you by Gator Coolers, Cryptech, Hotel Tango Distillery, Spearpoint Hooks, Biobore, Lawrence, and Wiley X. Hello everybody, Army Bass Angler and Marine Bass Angler Pro Rich Faulkner here. My boat was the one for the before and after on the Sea Clear Harness. If you see right here, Cody, so you see how the unit flashed, Cody, when yeah, we crank, saw that. cranked it right there? And that's what you want to avoid because that's what kills the unit right there. It's not good for the unit. 
um, and it'll kill your electronics. So not good for the batteries. It's not good for the batteries, not I mean, everything. You go to 10.3 to 11.5, a constant fluctuation, not good. So this boat will get that C clear power harness. We intentionally held this boat off so that we could show the viewers why we do that. And so that's that's the real deal. So. Oh, well, definitely a C clear will make a difference. That's right. So you've seen the before footage. Now let's check out the after footage. Come on. All right, guys, so here we are. I've got my unit powered up right now. So as before, you know that when we started the motor, we did get a power drop so the unit would flicker. So now let's check what happens when we start the motor. Awesome, our motor has started. The unit still has full power. It has over 12 volts power supply. We've been fishing all day long and we still have uh, enough power for our units to run properly. Well, so as you can see, the C-Clear harness took care of all my issues that we were having with power surges and power drops. So the front graph and the console graph, they're talking with each other now. We have no problems and no issues. C-Clear power harness. The meaning of this tournament is, uh, it's our memorial tournament and, and, and uh, the, the main purpose of it is to remember all of our fallen comrades uh, within this organization plus members of our uh, military lives and stuff. Uh, I doubt seriously anybody in the organization right now has not experienced uh, a death in combat or a close friend uh, and that's what most of us are is really good friends. Um, so it's a chance to sit down and, and at dinner last night, we just sat around and talked about it and stuff like that. And we remember them uh, in, in their honor. Um, like I said, I had a very close personal relationship with Mike Carroll. I got diagnosed September 15th of 2016, got medevaced out of Germany. And my son, who, who lives up in Austin, was dating a girl. and. And uh, one of her relatives came to one of the get-togethers that we had in the gatherings, and he gave me a coin. He walked up to me and gave me a coin. And you know, in the military, we get, I mean, hundreds of coins. I mean, you know, commanders give you a coin, first sergeant gives you a coin, sergeant major gives you a coin. And he gave me this coin, it's NDCQ, and uh, it's not dead, can't quit. And he told me the reason he gave it to me is because of my attitude. He said, man, you've got such a positive attitude that you just don't ever seem to quit. We remind ourselves all the time of our lives that involved them and them involved in our lives. Um, and, and it's just the way we remember them. And it, this tournament does exactly that for all those people. Uh, Mike is out here fishing today. Probably why I've got a broke light pole, a couple back lashes, and rods are throwing baits in the water. That, that's something Mike did a lot. <laughs> he had the worst luck in the world. He was, uh, he was so meticulously organized. All of his boxes had little labels on them. His label maker even said label maker on it. I mean, he was just, he was worse than Shelton. Um, but he couldn't find anything. He'd go looking for something in that box. He'd have every one of them boxes laying on deck. It's in here somewhere, oh, there it is. And he'd put them all back nice and neat and everything. He spent more time digging in that rod locker than he did fishing. Um, but I wouldn't have traded him for a partner for anything. Mike, you know, he got real sick and he never gave up on anything and he's, he'd come out here and fish. Jeff Foley could barely walk and he'd show up at the shows. You know, that's, that, they, they have heart. Yeah, they had a lot of heart and they had big hearts yes. on top of it. Yeah, I might call one. I know we're gonna call one there. Yeah, take that one on the left side out. Look at there. Another Bob Sandlin sweetie. There we go. We upgrading. There we go. We uh we just caught our sixth fish, so we called out a little one. So I'm gonna take a couple minutes here. Weigh our fish. 189. 257. Yep. Yep, good one. I'm trying to get him around that tree. Oh, get him around that tree. He's in the tree. Friendly hook. Got it. Got it. There's a nice call. 
Look at that. Good job, brother. For both Chuck and Rory, these memorial tournaments hold a special place in their hearts. As they cast their lines and reel in their catches, they share stories and memories of their fallen comrades, remembering the good times and the sacrifices made. Through their reflections, we see the true spirit of the Army Bass Anglers community, one of camaraderie, honor, and respect. They remind us all the importance of never forgetting those who've served. Then not only did they win first place, they also brought in a behemoth. We'd like to give you the Kill Switch Award. <laughs> you ever, ever came by? You ever came by the Kill Switch? This bottle cap top? Power poles down. Shh. <laughs> Told you, man, we're rookies at this here. Oh, no. <laughs>